Hey everybody, Green Skull back from E3. If my voice sounds funny, that's probably why. Probably the, the E3. 343 has released a Warzone Firefight sneak peek, but there's a bunch of other really cool stuff in this update. As you guys know, Halo Wars 2 beta is out. Hopefully you've been playing it. I haven't really had much of a chance. Only two games at E3. Hopefully I can get on that very, very soon here, and maybe we'll do a little stream. And great news about the beta, it has been extended through Wednesday, June 22nd. So be sure to play it. Community Doubles is back in the game. A lot of community made maps, so that's really exciting. Apparently a lot of them are really, really good too, so... Find a buddy, find your best friend in the world, and go conquer. So this is kind of called the Warzone Firefight update, because Warzone Firefight will be in it, but there's a lot of other things in it as well. There will be a Warzone boss refresh. You'll get a bunch of different bosses in Warzone. Keep it fresh, keep it exciting. A brand new Forge canvas, which we'll talk about in a second. Forge updates, campaign score attack mode, which disables cutscenes to help with speed running and you get to keep track of your score. Updates to Warzone personal scoring, season one of the HCS weapon skins, new maps, vehicles, armors, weapons, plenty more stuff, let's get into it. One of these new maps is called Prospect. Now this is the Warzone Assault version of Skirmish at Darkstar. It's just a, it's a dark, dark star. Two other maps that we don't know much about except Halo Team 343CF on Twitter pointed this out. This image was shown on the Sprint, which if you haven't seen it, hop on the Halo channel, go watch it, it's great. And we still haven't heard from it, but that really, really, really looks like it in the background there. I think you're right. Well done, sir. This looks very cool. As part of this update, we get some new wrecks, one of which is the Temple Banshee. Neat. The Golden Banshee is real! Throw me the Banshee, I'll throw you the whip! We get the Valkyrie Emblem, which is a throwback. I know there's gonna be a bunch of people that will really wanna use this. They're really stepping up their game on blurring. A lot of these things are way less identifiable than they usually are. I'm always up for theories in the comments. Cinder Armor and Cyclops Armor. So if you wanna look like a real idiot on the battlefield, this is your armor, look at that. It's uncommon, you can get it really, really easily, relatively easily. Look like a doofus. You're like wearing a toaster, how can you see with that? We got a new weapon mod, patrol case. Obviously does ammo things. As we all guessed, we're gonna get some different plasma rifles. Sorrow of Tish, Tiash, Tish, and scale left Swarat, really? Well, here's a very exciting part of the update, the end of the update, which talks about Forge. So we have this new water canvas, but there are a bunch of new features that this screenshot teases. There's a giant pig. There's a giant whale to your left there, and he actually has a texture on him. And a beach set and stuff, big golf ball down there. There's a lot of cool things here. But one of the biggest to me is the Rally Warthog, meaning we can place Rex in Forge. Maybe it's just vehicles, but I imagine if you would do the vehicles, you'd also do the weapons. So that's, we've been waiting for this one for a while. Now, whether or not you can actually inflate the size of objects, we're not totally sure. Maybe you can just make different sizes. We're going to kind of find out as it draws near, but that's very exciting either way. Here's something a little different. These are pieces of artwork for an upcoming Warzone map. Look. Look at this, Sanghelios, where everybody wants to play. Post your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm gonna be working on my E3 vlog. Get that up as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, see you next video.